Cancer. We here to seek the answers, baby. What is going on with you, boo? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. And I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of December 2020. Show me the monthly energy. Yes, God. We are in the building. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you who has clicked, like, shared and subscribe to this video or any of my videos i want to give a big thanks to every last one of you guys who have been booking personal private readings to the whoever has been um sending gifts through the amazon wish list i just checked the amazon wish list we have two decks coming in um it looks like the um careers oracle deck is coming in that i've been asking for so thank you guys so much for the support i also just purchased a deck from law divination who is a youtuber here on youtube that you guys could check out i just got her um vintage keys cardamancy deck um i believe i used that in one of the collective readings so y'all go check those collective reading videos out and check out la divination and again thank you guys for all of the love and support that you guys have been sending to my channel so that i can support other youtube content creators so again shout out to every last one of you guys if you guys um would like to support the page or book a personal and private reading you can do so by checking out the description in this video or clicking the about tab on my YouTube page. It has my booking price list as well as the various ways to communicate and get in contact with me. I only do video readings. Um, so we do those on Instagram Messenger. If you do not have Instagram Messenger, you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I can help get you all set up on Google Hangouts, which is a free, easy app to download. The only thing that we need to exchange with each other is our email address and again mine is scorpionbreads at gmail.com um if these videos resonate and again if you want to send love offerings or you just want to make a donation to the page again check out um the cash app the paypal link and as well as the amazon wish list you guys we already have that deck and i believe four decks that are coming in thanks to you guys' love that we're going to be seeing in 2021 so we want to have a lot of fun in 2021 thank you guys again for all of the forward blessings and you know the new resources uh and decks that we will be having here on this table going into the new year so again thank you guys for all of the blessings all right cancer so let's go ahead and get into the prayer let's bow our heads and uh give thanks to the creator give thanks to god give thanks to the universe all right for where we're currently sitting so father god thank you so much for blessing the sign of cancer for just waking up today feel blessed and abundant and feeling fine and free father god we definitely are feeling fine and free you know we love our good looks and our nice fabrics and our beautiful smells and we like our kitchen you know our stocks all full and refreshed you know we like a kitchen with a lot of abundant flavors and a lot of spices and a lot of delectable meats and breads and cheeses looks god you know how we are it is it's the holiday season we're all just about family about love just about hugs and just fellowship father god we're just happy and we're just blessed to just you know be living <laughs> be giving just feeling rich right now just feeling anointed and blessed with love and just you know favoritism we just feel like we're just living in god's favor right now and so we just thank you so much for just all of the abundance that's just been coming into our life father god and we're just thankful and blessed for all of the new blessings that are coming into the new year father god we are definitely patient and we are just diligent in regards to our betterment father god so father god continue to just you know hang in there with us Thank you for being our best friend and um, please give us guidance for the sign of cancer. Give us all of the answers that we're looking for for December 2020. Show me the money energy and thank you so much for all of the blessings that you've laid upon our footsteps that we have yet to receive. In Jesus name, amen, amen, and amen. Come on, cancer. Let's get into this here. Let's get into this here, cancer. Yes. Let's see what is going on with the center energy with my cancers for December. We want to make this a month to remember. Yes, God. Come on now. All right. Let's see. All right. I just seen that man holding a coin. Ooh. 
Lord, Lord, Lord. Hold on, hold on. Not with the financial constraints. Come on now. And then we got the hill of ages. Hold on now, Cancer. Come on, they're saying the cat the cupboard is running a little dry now. Goddamn. How much shit y'all eat at Thanksgiving? How much shit did you eat? Cancer, goddamn. Goddamn. Shit. So it looks like the cupboard is running a little dry here. I feel like um, with these cobwebs and all of these spiders and all of this shit that I'm seeing right now, I feel like um, you need to like sweep away and get rid of old-fashioned behavior. It's like some type of old-fashioned setup that you need to um, rethink, re-educate yourself of some different ways to like make money. You need to sharpen your skills. Um, I feel like there's too much dust or something it's like you need to clean away you need to sweep away I'm, it's like cobwebs in your ear it's near your brain it's just like I don't know why I feel like someone need to clean their ears or something like that why I feel like the ears are just that's nasty but, I'm, but it's, it's, I'm feeling like you're not receiving some level of information or education for some type of way there may be still like some karmic some karmatic debts um that are causing problems and roadblocks for you. So maybe like some type of financial obligation like child support or like student loans or um, I want to say like you could have it could have been some sickness. Or you could have been bedridden for a little bit where you weren't able to work and like money wasn't coming in the way that you needed to. Um, that could have created some problems. And again, I'm feeling like the need to clean like dust. I'm feeling like, cause I'm like, my throat feels dried up. Like you, you need to change the um, filter in your um, AC system or something like that. Like you need a new filter. Like that's why y'all been coughing and sneezing a lot in your house and stuff like that. That and you need to dust. You definitely need to dust. I feel like someone needs to, um, like your throat. They're saying that you need to drink some, um, ginger and lemon and honey tea. Like, that's what you need. That's what they said. Ginger, lemon, and honey. Because that ginger burn, it's going to get whatever bacteria and something out of your chest. And it helps you breathe and it opens your chest. Like, that's what they're saying. So if there's someone sick and it's like you coughing and it's like dry cough, you need that lemon and you need the honey. Because it's going to break up the mucus. It's going to get all of the bacteria in the mucus and all of that shit up out of your chest. You need to clean your fucking ears. Like someone needs to do them. Um, Y'all know it look like a teapot or something like that. But it's like you drip that shit in your ear or some shit like that, right? Some wild ass shit. I haven't seen that shit on TV yet. But it's like you need to clean your ears. Because I'm feeling like a, a throat and chest and head infection. Like all in one. It's like uh, <clears throat> real mucusy up in here. It's backed up. It's like you be trying to swallow. But you, it just feel like mucus. Like clog like you can't even swallow honey ginger lemon do you hear me wake up in the morning every three days get a clove of fresh garlic the shit is spicy it's gonna burn like fuck but i'm trying to tell you it's a natural antibiotic do you hear me get up in the morning on mondays Thursdays and Sundays and I want you to take that clove of garlic I want a whole bottle of water get a whole bottle of water shout out to Deer Park okay shout out to Deer Park um get that garlic 
chew that shit as much as you can. This shit is nasty, it's spicy, it's gonna burn like fuck. Just keep chewing it. Like, it's gonna take your willpower. Keep chewing. Just keep chewing as much as you can. As soon as this shit start burning, you can't take no more. Take the whole bottle of water and just chug that bitch back. I mean, chug the whole fucking bottle back. Do not stop drinking until that bottle is like right here. Do you hear me? Follow that shit up with a teaspoon of buckwheat honey. Swallow that shit back. I'm trying to get your ass in the bed. Sweat that cold out, man. I'm trying to tell y'all because I feel like someone feel like they got COVID or some shit like that. That's how you beat that shit. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. The healer of ages. Like, we about to do this shit naturally. Like, God got you, baby. God got you because I feel like if somebody has someone down right now. Like, you can't make no money. Um... Because I feel like someone's sick and their financial shit is dried up or possibly because of this shit. But I feel like someone living in like an old dilapidated house. Like for real, for real. Like you might need to move uh, eventually. Um, yes, I feel like someone may need to, to move like eventually. Uh, like the house or something. And it's just like old and just uh, tattered and things like that. Um... I feel like naturally, like it's going to come to you. It's like spiritual healing, like a natural way. Like God, like God is giving you his gift. Like you got it. Your body is stronger than your mind think it is. You know what I'm saying? Just trust yourself and allow God to just like heal things around you. Like things are going to replenish itself naturally. Naturally. Just trust what God is doing around you because sometimes, like, have you ever worked yourself so hard, so tired of sleep? If you would have never caught a cold, you would have never sat your ass down and got the rest that your body needed. Have y'all ever thought about that sometimes? Because I know cancer, cancer, y'all will work yourself to death. Y'all are like y'all own slave horse. Y'all will work y'all body tired of sleep. The king of swords in the reverse. So, I'm feeling mental exhaustion, too. I am definitely getting spiritually sick, like mentally sick. Like, your mind just needs to rest and just take a break for a minute. I want to say, um, there has been some type of stress. Yeah, it's some shit that y'all just been thinking about constantly. Like, where this money is coming from? How am I going to do this? Um, I'm, I need to fix certain behavior that I haven't been looking at. It's like, um, yeah, you got the hate man right here. Yeah, it's like someone was forced to sit down, Cancer. I feel like um, ever have it be. Why I want to say you have it be by hook or crook? Why I want to say that? Mm-mm. Y'all better not be going out here doing no shit. Because the king of swords in the reverse is like, um, it's someone that lives in the underworld. Could be like, um, <laughs> the king of swords or the king of pentacles in the reverse, depending on what's around him, could be like, uh, Someone that's a millionaire based off of like scamming or doing some type of devious activity where they come up off of the pain and downfall of other people. So I feel like for my cancer, for my cancer males, like you see how he's hung up here, the king of swords, he's hung up. You see how his whole shit is exposed, his balls all hanging out all up in the, in the breeze and shit. <laughs> I feel like you guys could feel entangled. You guys could feel locked up and exposed. Like, I do feel like there's someone that might be locked up right now. Why do I feel like that? It's like they feel like their balls is all left out in the open and some shit. It's like you just going to be all out and exposed for everybody to see or some shit. It's something like you, you can't move. It's like this person is like really tied up though. They can't move. They can't talk. 
Are y'all paying attention to that? In the King of Swords in the reverse, this is like a dictator, like someone that has um, an obsess of power, um, a manipulator, a schemer, someone that's treacherous, someone that uses force as power. Do you understand? So this could be like an abuser, a verbal abuser. Um, like I said, someone that used physical dominance. Like this could be like a bad cop. Like this is like the bad cop. Why do I feel like someone? Yeah, I'm feeling like someone is being locked up against their will. I feel like someone was taken away, but it wasn't for their wrongdoing. It was like, I feel like it was for someone else's wrongdoing, but it's like they're not snitching or they're not. You see how this person is like gagged or whatever, like they can't say anything or whatever. It's like, I, I can't say anything because it's like this bad cop. I feel like that bad cop might be your friend or something like that. What the hell am I getting right here? Why do I feel like someone being set up? Give me guidance here. And it's like you don't even have no money to fight against this shit. To like prove your innocence or something. You got the Ten of Pentacles here. So, I think y'all have been put up. Y'all, I feel like someone was being put up to something. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. I feel like the Cancers could have possibly been going through a hard time here. Definitely a financial loss. I want to say I feel like someone has been thinking about taking matters into their own hand. Possibly robbery or like... What's grand larceny? What the fuck does that mean? I don't even know what the fuck that means. It's like... They're saying like robbery or grand larceny. I want to say whoever this, this this King of Swords is, like, has, has some skills that they haven't been put into use. Because I want to say things have been good, but now that things have been bad, I want to say that they may be taking matters into their own hands. It's something that they know that they shouldn't do, but it's like you might have to take something by force. I feel like this person has been um, exposed in a way where... They didn't appreciate it uh, or just being hung out, left to dry, uh, being secluded. Like I said, having time to think, sitting back, watching other people uh, be successful or something like that. Because the, the, the hangman is when you've been removed. That's why I'm like someone could have been in jail. Someone could have been in a situation where they couldn't talk, they couldn't move. Um, I bet someone was locked up against their will for something that they didn't do. And it was like a bad cop and you didn't have any way to prove it. You know what I'm saying? I wanna say that if it was something like that, like even with lack of resources, just trust that God is going to heal all things. I feel like you're going to come out and be removed from the situation and walk into the Ten of Pentacles, like a happy home, like a stable environment. It's like if there was like a bad cop situation and someone was um, locked up against their will for something that they didn't do, um, I, I really want to say... Like an abuse of power, like an abuse of the system or something like that. And y'all could have struggled to pay for lawyers or something. I want to say like a blessing is just going to come out the fucking sky. And this person is going to be like released. This person is going to be released and like 
y'all family is going to be good. Y'all might get like a blessing. Y'all might get a payout because like there's other things that come out in this situation. Y'all, I got to get more information because like this, this is too much. Yeah. What is this? The tower in the reverse and then the ten of wands. So yeah, like it's like you being released of a burden, like something happens from out of nowhere that just like tears this structure down for good. So it's like some information could come down from nowhere that helps you beat the system where they have to drop this case. Do you understand? Because it's proven that this, you know, policeman was a liar that they hit that they put the drugs on you or that it was a setup or that this king of the swords was the like mastermind of this criminal enterprise like it could have been a cop that was running shit the whole fucking time do you understand because this person wasn't making enough money on a police squad or something. i want to say it was like a crooked cop or something like a thief or something I could have been robbing drug dealers or something like that. Like, cause it's, look, I'm serious. Cause listen, you see how this, I feel like the, the cop like fed the drug dealers, and, like fed them to the police where they were hung out to dry and they were being exposed, but not before they stole some of the crop. Y'all see the scythe back there with, with the wheat? You know, I feel like someone stole some of y'all's crop and left y'all out to dry could it like set you up like you could like you could have been just going to the store like yeah you might have been a drug dealer like yeah you might have been doing some shit but not that day you understand what i'm saying like i feel like the policeman pulled you over set you up robbed you i feel like the like this the, someone got robbed by the fucking police and set up like there wasn't even their drugs like it was like a whole setup for the police to, to steal the person's crop. Cause the motherfucker was making too much money. And I, I feel like you made you like you know this person. It's like a crooked cop. I'm so serious. Like some information is gonna come out of nowhere that's just gonna tear the whole the whole thing down. The whole thing down for good. For good. The ten of wands. They're definitely gonna have to drop whatever. Whatever conflict, whatever battle it is, like, it's going to be avoided. It's not even going to go as far as it could go because something out, something else comes out in this case that is shocking. Like, this other shit, it's like other evidence against this, this crooked cop that I believe where you receive justice and they have to drop, like, they have to drop all charges. Do you understand? Everything is being dropped. Everything is being dropped. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... You're being relieved of this burden, of, you know, of this situation. Jesus, give me guidance on the hangman. Please give me guidance on this hangman. I ain't had no street shit come out in my readings in a minute. Like, God damn. But I know some cancers that be in the street. Like, like big though. Like, for real. Like, the, the, the signs that I know that be getting money. For real, for real. In the street life, Cancers, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries. They saying Pisces too, but I don't really know no Pisces like that. I can see a Pisces getting down like that. Mm -mm. I know for sure. Taurus. I know for sure Taurus. I know for sure Kansas be getting money because Kansas and Taurus and Capricorns love money. Love money. And Aries, they just they just love their self. <laughs> they love power. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They love domination. So, okay. You got the three of swords in the reverse. So, yes, this is a situation where you were backstabbed. And I want to say I want to say backstabbed and robbed. Um yeah, you were backstab and set up and robbed because the three of swords is like when there's some 
something else infiltrating in the situation and someone's taking something from you. Because even if you think about it in a love situation, it's like a third party situation. Someone came and stole your girlfriend. Someone came and stole your boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they said this person is legendary for it. So then you got the Princess of Cups here. I want to say that you remain beautiful, you remain at peace, you remain like, damn, this girl got some big ass feet, man. I don't like her feet, eh, bruh. <laughs> I ain't trying to fry though, but look, she, she pretty and everything, but she got some big, ugly ass feet. Like, what the fuck? And them Jones is, them Jones is, them Jones, them Jones. God damn, mo. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Um... I want to say you've been in a situation to sit back and think alone, uh, to think about a lot of things, to think about yourself, to think about your friends, to think about your family, to kind of think about everyone in every position of life that you can think of and what role that they're playing in your happiness and your healing right now. Uh, it could be, let me take a look here. Okay, you got the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, the Princess of Cups, the Three of Swords. So I feel like there could be like a young woman in your life. There's definitely an age difference. I feel like this is someone that's younger than you. Um, I feel like you feel like she's beautiful. Her feet could be ugly. Well, at least I think the bitch feet ugly. At least the way they painted her feet. Goddamn. Like, this. look at this man. But his feet look normal. He just got like some long toes and shit like that. Look, he got some little long toes or whatever. But you like your feet ain't ugly, man. Like, come on, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Ew. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. I need to stop tripping on this girl's feet, man. But anyway. I feel like he bought the cooker, though. You know? He's definitely bought the cooker. I, I feel... um. Rivers run deep, emotions run deep for this young lady. You definitely feel like she's beautiful. I want to say you like her cooking. I want to say you like her style too. Like she is like, I want to say she's like the maiden. Like she is young. She still has a lot, a lot to learn. Like she still be doing dumb shit. Like she love you, but she still has to go through learning how to love herself and not to trip and stumble over her own feet. So I want to say like you, you might have, I don't know if this is the person that you were fucking with on the side, you might be getting some comfort from her at the current moment. Could be. Cause I definitely see that this person is in a current love position with you. Like this person is still fascinated with you. Like they're still Smell like they this person still oh they say this person loves your accent this person loves your aroma your smell your fragrance and stuff like this person is still really in love with you um i want to say like regardless of whatever third party situation that you may have them hung up in like they still may be willing to like play their part and play their position in this situation and look after and take care of you like they still look for your calls like I definitely feel like there's a situation where you're being kept away from this person. This Six of Pentacles right here, this and with this Ace of Pentacles, um, I feel like because of this person's naivety. Am I saying that right? Naivety. <laughs> They be saying the naivety <laughs> because the person naive is a motherfucker, just young and gullible and green and shit. Um, I feel like you just can't give too much to her. I don't feel like she knows how to handle it. I do feel like this girl is a little bit too willing to position herself to be a third in a party. I feel like this woman would be messy, but not intentionally. I just feel like she's too young to. I feel like someone is dating like some type of young woman here. Um. And I feel like you're not in a predicament to give to her or to start anything. Um, because 
I do feel like with this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, is this the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? I feel like you don't want to wake somebody out of hibernation or something like that. Like it's someone, it's, you don't want Mother Bear to come out and be awoken to what's going on here with this little young Joan. I really do feel like that. Um, like the the three of pentacles, I mean the six of pentacles in the reverse. It's like you might be trying to work something out over here and work something out over there too. But you may not have enough time to stretch out between the two situations. You know what I'm saying? So this is something that you know will turn around and bite you in the ass. Um, this could be why there's a lack of finances too. Because you're trying to... Heal the situation between two di different individuals at the same time. And still go home and play with your family. I like I am getting that too. So let me read it like this. So we got the king of swords in the reverse. The king of swords again is someone that non-committal. That's a liar. That's a cheater. That's a deceiver. That's a manipulator. All that bullshit. Right, right, right. So they could be trying to... Um, Still piece together a situation with a broken foundation, but like eventually, like the shit is going to come down. Like you could just go and just blow on this foundation and the shit will break. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, stop lying to yourself and stop lying to others. Like there's a reason why there's a lack of, uh, you know, finances. There's financial constraints and things like here because I feel like you're hung up in between two worlds here. Um, and again, you could be trying to cut from one end to give to another you know what i'm saying like you stealing from one resource to give to another and now you're looking and it's not that much at all you know what i'm saying it's not enough for what you need at home or whatever like it's you need to put the burden down stop trying to like manipulate the system and just like let this shit go because i definitely feel like the tower in the reverse is like something that's going to be exposed by force it's going to be tore down because you refuse to let it go you keep lying you keep telling people you ain't got no money because this this isn't that no you don't have no money because you've been sneaking around and messing around with this young girl taking this young girl out trying to trick her make her feel like you gonna love her and give her something that she ain't never had before yeah you are you gonna give her some bullshit that she ain't never had before something that ain't never want to start out of, off the ground or something that's not gonna lead anywhere i definitely feel like this person could have the ten of pentacles at home so and because remember i said someone is being like set up someone's being exposed or something There could also be whoever this King of Swords right here. I feel like this King of Swords right here could be angry. Could be just like an angry person because of what they see going on right here. They could be tired of helping someone and lying to someone about a situation. Ooh. Ooh, 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 this person might snitch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me, give me some guidance on the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so why y'all always do that? Because I'm like, what the fuck is going on? First, I'm getting some street shit. Now, I'm getting some other shit. And again, I, if this has anything to do with some street shit, I definitely feel like... There was someone that could have been set up by a dirty cop or whatever. And I want to say that they're heartbroken because they could have just gotten a relationship with this young girl right here. And now they're not in a predicament to give to this person at all because now I'm locked up 
and like the only thing I can do is talk to you and just wish to be with you it's like this person may like really be fucked up that they can't spend time with this person you know what I'm saying it's like I'm hung up I'm fucked up in a situation I can't get out of this shit right now like I'm not in a predicament to pinnacles is time you know what I'm saying so Again, you got the Ten of Cups. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Young, someone is in like a healthy, happy, committed home. Like they could have just had a baby. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want to say that there might be some friend that may ruin your relationship for you. Like they are tired of lying for you. You, you, There's someone that could be... There's someone that could be like... That could be lying... Hold on, what is this? This is the Wheel of Fortune. Like, I feel like this person is blessed to be in this situation. This person is happy. This person has, like, financial security and all of this shit. I want to say, like, the woman that's in this house, she could be, like, Putting some type of protective force field around the safety and security of her family or something like that. It's like she can have everything she wants here. Like everything is happy. Everything is healed and stuff. But I feel like beneath the surface there's somebody caught up in a situation with some fucking girl that someone don't know about my nigga. And the friend is tired of lying and Seeing this person keep trying to heal and put layers of putty on this crack foundation. This, this man's like, man, I'm about to help them just tear this shit down, man. Because she keep trying to, like, pray and think everything cool. Everything look cool, but everything ain't cool, man. What the fuck is going on here? This is the Two of Wands, the Eight of Cups in the reverse, and then the Six of Cups. So... I feel like what's being said, okay, okay, so this person wants to go back home, like this person is made, I definitely feel like this person is making a decision to in this third party relationship with this young girl that this person is hung up on because I feel like too much of this person's resources has been going to this person and this girl and it's resources could like no nah, this is saying money though this is saying money this is saying money like this is too much time and money has been spent on this little girl and I don't feel like this person wants to get caught like this person wants to avoid a disaster wants to avoid getting caught so they just want to Stop dealing with this situation now. Because, like, someone's going to snitch on them. Like, one of their mans or somebody. Because, like, this person has the perfect fucking situation at home. It's like, why in the fuck would you ruin this shit at all? And, again, if it's somebody that's been locked up and set up by, like, a crooked cop, I definitely feel like something's going to come out of the woodwork which is going to bless you and it's going to heal the situation. You're going to come home. Listen, you're going to come home. Listen, your father, whoever, your family was holding you down and taking care of your kids and everybody. Like, you come home into a safe, sound, secure situation. A loving situation. Like, you and your wife or you and your kids are going to be happy. You're going to end up having another child. And again, like, the wheel of fortune is in your favor you know like I feel like you might have like I'm feeling that someone went to jail for no reason like got set up or got accused of something that they didn't do I feel like they're going to get like a successful payout for them suffering like this it's like them them suffering like this you might was a drug dealing shit but you was not doing nothing that day like that was planted evidence like this policeman set you up to rob you like at the end of the day like you could have just you could have been in jail suffering from heartbreak because you could not be with this girl that loves you like she got big feet and all that shit she got big feet and wet pussy but the bitch love you the bitch love you do you understand what i'm saying and you are locked up you can't even talk to her probably didn't even have the financial resources to do a lot of things you know what i'm saying because 
your time was being spent away locked up in a situation and you really couldn't invest in this but i want to say that this person waited on you like this person waited on you just wait for god to hear this because you gonna come out and everything's gonna be good like you and this person is going to be successful and start a family with each other the two of wands i definitely feel like um the two of wands is like someone not making a decision to leave anymore it's like they want to stay where they you know what i'm saying so it's like when i get out of here i don't want to go and search and look for nobody else i want i want to i know where i want i want to go back home do you understand what i'm saying so the eight of cups is like someone that left you know what i'm saying it could have been gone for a vacation or something it's like so this is like someone coming back from vacation so it's like you're coming back from being locked up against your will you understand what i'm saying and like i didn't want to go and now you're able to like be around your family and focus and watch your children grow like this this is good and then you coming into this like it's like you got everything that you been wishing for the whole time that you've been sitting like it's like when someone was locked up they could have been really hurt that this situation happened really being in love really thinking about the direction that they're going because you know like a lot of people be locked up and they be like they be kicking all this rah-rah to people and then they get out and do the complete opposite they be running around trying to be with everybody else do whatever like this one is like nah when i get out i want to go home and be with my wife or i want to make this person my wife i really do want to offer something to her you know and i want to start a family like I just, I just want to get out of here. I want to go to fuck home. And I feel like there's someone that is in a situation where it's better left alone. I feel like you're going to get yourself in a whole bunch of unnecessary trouble. I feel like you have a, he a happy, healthy, stable home. So it's like, why would you ruin it? You know? And I definitely feel like you're... Whoever this is that you have this family with at home, like she's praying protection and blessings over your family. So... Like, please stop lying. And if you are dealing with someone on the side and you are hung up, you 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 will get exposed. You know what I'm saying? So, like, please just, like, release this burden right here with this tower. Just, like, just avoid it. Like, the tower in the, in the reverse is, like, you can see something coming down the line that is going to be a mess. And, like, getting out of the way before destruction comes, you know? So, like... Avoid that shit. Give me guidance for cancer, please. Please clarify this situation. We got contemplation and receptive. So it says gain an overview, detached observation. I told you the hangman. Increase in understanding, solitude, integration through reflection. So now all of this shit is tying together. So it's like I want to say someone was locked up against their will and got secluded from their family since they been in jail. Like I think that they thought about what they were doing with this other person. And as soon as they get out, they're not even going to focus their energy on doing that. They're going to go home and focus their energy on their family and try to heal their relationship with their family. It's all coming together now. And then you said receptive. Oh, look at your belly. It says the yielding yin, yin principle. Devoted. Patient, supportive, obedient, responsive, intuitive, earthly mother. Yeah. I told you. I told you. It's like this person is like really contemplating like coming out of jail and just doing the right thing. It's like I might have got locked up on some dumb shit, but... When I get out, not only am I going to come out, because I feel like you're going to beat this case, and you and your family going to come out and going to be financially good. Y'all going to be stable and shit. It's like, man, I'm going the fuck home. What is this right here? You got the influence, courtship, mutual attraction, genuine affection, natural magnet magnetism, simulation, connection. I told you, like, this person has a good family. There's someone that is has a very good Blessed and abundant, happy home. They just had a baby. All of this shit. Like, shit is good. I don't know why the fuck they were doing this. Like, why the fuck were you doing this? 
I'm trying to tell you. And then, listen, you got a rousing child. It says shock, a crisis, upheaval, awe-inspiring, dramatic power shifts, unpredictability, a shake-up. That's a wake-up. I'm trying to tell you. There was a shakeup in this courtship. It could have been this person going to jail. And I'm praying to God that it's this person going to jail and just having to sit down uh, for a little bit over some bullshit. And they were taken apart from this third party situation that they were creating that their baby mother or their wife didn't know about. And got a chance to think about what they were doing before some real fucked up shit happened. Like, yeah, you get locked up was fucked up, but yeah, you losing your home would have been fucked up too. Especially home there. You got the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. And the wheel of fortune. And you tripping. You are tripping big time. So like, this was like, I feel like God did to seclude you so that you can see what you were doing before you really fucked up some shit, bro. Like, for real. And then with this, like, clarify this financial thing. The eight of stones. Your skills. So it's like, you, like, not working. And you're not working and you're not sharpening your skills or something like that. Because I feel like you were too busy, like, courting and paying attention to some other woman or doing some shit that you wasn't supposed to be doing. What is this? The queen of arrows, the swan. So listen, y'all been dealing with an air sign woman. Like y'all notice, like, trust and believe that ugly duckling is still up in there. Like, even though she is swan, that ugly duckling is up in there. You do not, because you got the, the king of swords and the queen of swords. So like, yeah, this is like your wife or something like that. But you're the one lying, Mo. You hear me? And you, you ain't been sharpening your skills and doing what you be needing to do. Like, in regards to this, like, you're ruining your reputation right here with this shit that's going on. Like, you will really create a disaster and ruin your partnership and the influence that you have. Again, like, it says courtship, mutual attraction, genuine affection, natural magnetism, stimulation, the connection. Like, if, if baby girl find out about this shit... This is going to be disastrous. Because she going to shake right on roll your ass. And you already know this shit. And you already in a predicament where you're not working. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ever you not working right now. And instead of you focus on finding a job, you cheating. And you need to stop. And something happens. Not to expose you, but I feel like, I want to say like someone gets locked up or it's something where someone had to sit down and just be secluded for a minute, had to go away of vacation or something like that. Is it vacation? I don't know. I'm, pray I'm praying, bro. I'm praying that nobody get locked up, man. But it's like, you're not ut utilizing your skills. You're not paying attention to what you're doing. Like the... Eight of the eight of the eight of stone, like you see how this person is practicing on their skills on their work. It's like you could have been putting out shoddy workmanship because you were too busy paying attention to this girl and you wasn't paying attention to your work. So, like, this could be a loss of job, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could have lost your job because you were too busy flirting at work and doing some shit that you wasn't supposed to be doing, you know what I'm saying? Where you like, like. You just wasn't balanced and, and, and it was showing up in your work. And I want to say that you end up losing your job or something like that. And you don't want that to happen. Because how are you going to explain that to your wife? And one thing about the Queen of Swans, she knows it. You know what I'm saying? Like the Queen of Arrows, she knows it. Like she's going to find out one way or another. You know what I'm saying? Like things will be exposed one way or another. So it's like... Naturally, you put this burden down by yourself or like one of your friends going to snitch on you. Uh, like the girl, like I said, the, the girl is young. She could just end up doing something, being messy, something like that. And I really do feel like there's like a friend that might possibly put a snitch on your motherfucking ass, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass serious because it's like 
they feel sick of what you're doing. Like, at the end of the day, like, you got a good, happy family at home. Like, why in the fuck is you doing this dumb shit? So, it's like they might be tired of lying for you. Or just a hater. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, this situation is going to be naturally evil one way or another. Give me guidance and love. It's going to be a long fucking video. Child, you got... <laughs> Child, you got my, um, Melina Trump. It says you never know when you might wake up next to the president. Don't betray yourself in favor of your marriage. Keep your friends close and your family closer. Mm. She know what you doing. She know what you doing. I feel like she's playing her position. She is playing her position. She's just like, I feel like she's playing. Because, like, that's why you see her father and everybody there. Like, you see, she's just, like, praying protection over this marriage, over this commitment. I definitely, I feel like she knows her fucking husband some trash. She know. I don't know why I feel like this woman feels like, you know, you see how she got her father, the grandfather there and all of that stuff like that. Like, I just feel like this woman feels that if I just, if we just keep having more babies, like everything will be okay. So I feel like another child might possibly be on the way or something like that. Just to like. I don't know why I feel like this. that's what this person, like the women, the woman at home, it's like, you know, well, this girl just likes having babies. She just likes being pregnant for some reason. And she's just in her part. And I, I don't see her leaving that husband. I don't, I don't see her leaving her husband at all. Like, she's playing her position. You got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. You got the king of swords in the reverse. And then you got the damn fool child. Oh my God, Lord Jesus. And then what is this here? And you got the empress. I told you that girl pregnant. Didn't I tell you that damn girl pregnant? So the woman at home, she's fucking pregnant. This man is a piece of shit. Like he's a piece of shit, bruh. The Knight of Cups in the reverse, like this person, again, I like the most important thing that I know about the Knight of Cups in the reverse, this motherfucker is a flirt. Is a flirt. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like this person can't even control themselves. The King of the King of Swords in the reverse, like this person is full of himself. Like, you know, his, 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 he likes to talk a lot, likes to talk a whole lot. So... Don't ever think that this person don't have someone on the side that they're talking to. And only thing I can say is that, you know, God protect children and fools. And this woman is clearly pregnant and she damn sure is a fool. I feel like the woman at home, she's not oblivious to what's going on. I just really think that she she thinks that God will work this out. Like, I'm, we're just going to have more babies. I'm just going to act like this shit isn't going on. And I'm just going to pray for protection and just God to keep blessing fortune and shit over this family. But, bruh, like, I just, I just don't think that this girl really understands what's going on. She feels like you never know when you might wake up to the president. Don't betray yourself in favor of your marriage. So, it's like, I feel like this woman feels like she's fortunate to wake up in this situation Next to whoever this man is, even though he's a lying piece of fucking shit. I mean, because Donald Trump is just like, <sighs> ugh. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, at the end of the day, I feel like she looks good regardless in this situation. Like, as long as she's good and her family's good and her kids good, like, to, she's not going to betray herself in favor of her marriage. You know what I'm saying? Keep your friends close and your family closer. So as long as her friends and family can eat off of this, she going to have as many babies off this nigga as she can. And she just going to sit back and 
play stupid. Like that's honestly what I, I'm getting here. I feel like that girl, that young girl is going to end up being messy. That young girl going to end up being messy for some sorts. But the woman at home, she's not going anywhere. I'm telling you that right now. It says, I like you. It says, I like you. So again, like I really just feel like there's a strong like here. There's not no love. You got the heartbroken. You got the abundance. And the coffin. So again, like I don't feel like the woman at home. Like, she even loves the dude. Like, there's a strong like. You understand what I'm saying? Like, she's heartbroken about the whole situation, you know? It's just deeply hurt, sad, separation, breaking up, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. But it's like she's swimming in the money. So, again, it's like she likes this person. But, again, the thought of her being heartbroken... And separating from this person, I feel like it's not worth it. She'd rather be swimming in the money. Do you understand? That's why she she's not walking. She's not stupid. She's not leaving this motherfucking shit. She's, instead of being heartbroken and thinking about leaving, keeping a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude, bliss. She, she, she could pass with just like. We ain't got to love each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm damn sure ain't going nowhere. Like, the fuck? Like, no, she going to keep having more fucking babies. <laughs> like, to solidify her spot. Like, she not going nowhere. Period. 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 And the girl is probably pregnant right now. That's why she's praying protection over this shit and hoping that this nigga focus on his goddamn job and shit and stop getting in goddamn trouble. But she know exactly what he doing. Listen, she's nosy. She knows exactly what he's doing. Don't mark my words. She does. Give me um guidance on Miss Melania Trump. I told didn't I tell you that this girl is watching him? She knows exactly what she's doing with this page of four. She watches this motherfucker. She's not stupid. She knows exactly what this motherfucker's doing. At all times. What is this? Then you got the fool. You got the fool, but she's still, she's still moving on in faith in the situation that everything's going to work out and everything's going to be better. She's still going to move forward, but she watches this motherfucker. Know that. And whoever this girl is on the side, listen, ooh, she, uh, she's already planned your death. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so serious. Like, she's already, like marked you out like this is the queen of fucking swords like she's a fucking marksman like she don't play she knows who the fuck you are whoever this other girl is do you understand and she has control regardless you like to believe so or not do you understand like she knows when her husband is lying she knows when he's being manipulative she knows that he knows that if I walk away, I will leave you with fucking nothing. So you better figure out a way to fucking heal this shit. Or I'm going to take all of the kids, all of the money, everything. I'm just going to be positive and pray that you get your shit together. I'm going to enjoy my pregnancy. And, you know, I'm going to continue to carry on in faith. But at the end of the day, like, she's already paid her respects to, like, she already knows that, oh, he, he's going to end that. Because he's not stupid. He's not stupid. Bottom line, poo. Okay? So, shout out to Miss Melania. Miss Melania said, I'm going to play my part. Girl, the fuck might have me a few more babies, bitch. Who's going to check me, boo? <laughs> Pish tosh. Anyway, can't swim up out of here. Y'all messy. I love y'all. Y'all messy, boo. <laughs> Girl, Miss Melania Trump came the fuck up in here. was like, did you rain? Did you rain? Listen, I told y'all. I'm good. I'm good like shit. 
So I don't give a fuck about them little messy ass hoes that this nigga is fucking around with. I'ma stay in the place of peace and happiness. As long as I got my family around me, as long as my father can live here and we can live up off of this nigga's money and it's like what? We gonna spend it all. <laughs> we gonna spend it all and let this motherfucker even think about leaving me, bitch. I'ma spend it all. I'ma take every last red drop fucking cent. You better fucking believe it. So whatever he lying about, he better keep lying and he better hope that I don't find out and get a wild hair up my I asked the bitch because you already know what's popping. You already know what's popping and you already know what's dropping. Listen, he ain't stupid. I can live with like I ain't got to love you as long as I can spend your money. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'll carry the burden. Don't matter. All right. I got to go. I love y'all. Can't see y'all messy. Bye.